glass making has a very ancient history. It is known to have occurred in Mesopotamia in the late 3rd millennium BC. The basic ingredient of glass is, of course, some. The earliest known glass blowers were the Phoenicians. The Roman world developed these techniques into what we see today. The glass blower we see today is John Ditchfield. John has been blowing and working glass for 25 years, having been inspired by an Italian glass artisan. His business, Glassful, was formed in 1982 and has thrived until John is now well known in the glass blowing world. Glass blowing takes place at about 1600 degrees Fahrenheit and as can be seen it glows orange throughout the glass blowing and forming process. The glass blower's tools of the trade are based on ancient tools such as pinchers, blocks, tweezers, paddles and of course the workstation and quenching tank. The most vital tool is perhaps the blowpipe, or ponty. The molten glass is rolled over frits of coloured glass in the form of powder or slivers of glass, giving extra detail to the final creation. seals the glass by rolling on a steel plate. This forms a cool skin on the exterior of the molten glass. This process is repeated several times until the desired design and pattern is achieved and regular reheating in the furnace is needed to maintain the fluidity of the glass. An item is quite heavy on the blowpipe and constant turning is required to ensure that it remains evenly on the end of the blowpipe. Constant reheating is absolutely essential to maintain the correct fluidity. Fine detail can be worked into the item using pinchers to pull at the glass or compress a point. It is remarkable how fluid glass can be in this stage. can now be coaxed into a shape by allowing gravity to assist the work. The form of the snake 
Sidewinder, as seen on the sand earlier, will now start to take shape. As can be seen by the extra effort required, the cooling glass rapidly loses its workability and requires regular visits to the furnace. John's assistant is preparing a second blowpipe so that the piece in progress can be placed by John on the new pipe and the head of the snake can now be shaped. Note how quickly the small bead of glass cools and becomes unworkable requiring frequent reheating. head is now taking final shape and the full colour of the piece is becoming apparent. smooth any slight irregularities on the glass surface. locally brittle and easily parted from the pipe. We end with some examples of the glass blower's art.